Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're in my hobby room in my house uh, slash sim room. Uh, we're gonna take a look at my sim rig that's built out of rectangular tubing. Not many are built out of steel, so hopefully you'll like to check it out and see the differences between aluminum wood and steel. Let's check out the sim rig. And we have the CPU that is built by FEG, which is Ford Entertainment Group. I think uh, it's a the video card is a GTX 1060 and it has 16 gigs of RAM and it runs a VR great. I don't know what motherboard, but I will put all that stuff in the description. Uh, the monitor is a crappy little monitor for now. I'm eventually gonna do a wall monitor um, that'll pop out, swing around, do all sorts of things and it'll be bigger. So if I wanna actually race with a monitor, then I will race with a monitor right now. It's just used for setting up uh, races and everything. So, uh, this is the sim rig, the rest of it. We have the Fnatic CSL Elite wheel. Um, it's just the stock wheel on here and the pedal set. It is obviously rectangular tubing, uh, just regular carbon steel. And the wall thickness, I don't remember, but it's the thicker of the two that you can buy it in. It's two by one um, rectangular tubing. And then we have this Momo Corsa seat, 1998 is when it expires, I think. So um, it's pretty old, but it's my passenger seat for uh, my race car, my Spec E30. So um, if I wanna take passengers out, I just unbolt it, the four bolts, and it pops right in. Um, this is actually the mount that's used for it and everything. So it is on wheels, and you can wheel it around if you want. Just has this vertical here, and a horizontal um, mounted, obviously, perpendicular to it but turned the other way um, for stiffness it does not need any bracing going this way I thought it might and I used it this way and it has no no movement it is it's as rigid as it gets so I didn't add any bracing but I can if I need to so um, that's about it I use the oculus rift and a crappy keyboard so that's about it if you have any questions uh, leave them in the comments section uh, next video is going to be on the epoxy flooring that I just did. I know that's not super exciting, but it's in the garage. It makes it a lot more usable and a lot uh, better visually. So if you want to check that out, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you soon.